I guess you could consider this one a dying art, but one local man is keeping shoe shining alive. A Lynchburg man has been practicing that trade now for more than 50 years. Sally Delta is live in our Lynchburg studio with this story. And Sally, 50 years is really a long time to keep any job. It is, Danner, but this shoe shiner says it's not so much work when you love what you do. And as you'll see here, he doesn't plan on stopping anytime soon. The first time Clyde Aiken shined a shoe, he was eight years old. His first job was at Hall's Barber Shop in downtown Lynchburg. I was at home. And most of the hall come and guide me and ask me that I wanted to come down there and clean the barber shop. We had a little small stand down there, and that's where I got started. That's when a shine used to cost a quarter, and business was hopping. I, we stayed busy. Every day we stayed busy. After several shoes and several decades later, business has slowed down a bit, but this 60-year-old is still at it. And even he can't explain why he's still doing it, other than... Well... I do it. I like. I really just like to do it. Really, I get an enjoyment out of it. Clyde has the old school work mentality that you get up each morning and you need some kind of work to do and something to keep you occupied. And he, if more people are like Clyde, we'd all be a lot better off. When you got a suit on and uh, your shoes are shining, that makes you look professional. Which people would realize it's just a lost art, and they don't forget about the shoes really. And though the shiny shoe has lost its sparkle in some eyes, Aiken doesn't plan on throwing in the towel anytime soon. How long do you think he'll keep doing it? Well, I'll probably be doing it until I die. And Aiken blames the decline in shiny shoes simply to a change in style. He says more people just dress casual these days. But if you have a pair of dress shoes that needs spiffing up, you can find him in downtown Lynchburg at the parlor. Danner? All right, thank you, Sally Delta. Now I know where to find him.